Kasti? 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 Sator se da jam si pod. Kotinka? Kotinka. Iska da hodi da vanka kotinka ogromna. To da ne se vežda koliko ogromna. Dasti? Dasti? Dasti je govorljiv, tako da govorim s tem po cel Hi everyone, today we are visiting Vanya in you know, Vanya from previous videos. Vanya is this extremely artistic person. Um, she has been interested in many different types of art, like photography, collage, painting. Uh, she's uh, interested in many different types of arts, but the latest, the most interesting one is the pottery. And uh, today we're going to talk about pottery about her classes, about her inspirations and we're going to show you her first presentation of uh, her art, what she started doing and uh, how much she's enjoying it. Stay with us and enjoy it. Bogatashka. Hi Bogatashka, how are you today? Hi Bogatashka, this is your video. <laughs> the video is on, let's start. <laughs> let's start the video. So please tell us how did you get involved in your latest hobby, pottery? Pottery was given to me as a Christmas gift or a birthday gift. So I went the first time, mm -hmm. did my three classes. I was terribly sick, did not produce anything <laughs> at all. And three years later, I decided to repeat. So I went to these three beginner classes again. Oh, right. And this time I was not sick. So sort of the balls I produced were a tad better than the first ones. So I decided that, yes, this is something quite interesting. Mm -hmm. So and I stuck with it. Oh yeah. So what did you like about it? What was the thing that oh, made you interested in it? It's very interesting because at the beginning you're producing pretty much pieces of crap. Yeah. And you think you like the very first part of the process, which is the throwing, because it's amazing how a piece of clay on the wall actually shapes under something that you intend to do. And then you don't like the trimming part, or actually no, at the beginning you like the trimming because you think, oh, that makes a piece of crap into something that actually is better looking. But then you discover that the trimming is the hardest part because with the throwing and the glazing, there is no intended outcome. Like if it doesn't work, you say, ah, oh, it's how it's it meant yeah, to be, right? That's right? But trimming is quite a precise thing. Uh -huh. There is a right and wrong answer. So there is a bit of pressure to mm. be right. So, Trimming became the least favorite part of my I process see. for a while. And when I actually discovered that I know what I'm doing, I started to like trimming. Oh, right. And then you have, after the trimming, you have, what's the next So stage? the process is, yeah. everybody who's done pottery knows that, so yeah. that's probably terribly boring. Uh -huh. But you put a piece of clay on the wheel uh -huh. and you throw. Throwing uh -huh. is shaping the uh -huh. object when the, the clay is really wet. Uh -huh. And pretty much everything in pottery starts with a cylindrical shape. So the very thing you need to learn is to produce a cylindrical shape with a straight walls. Oh, yeah. That sounds simple, but actually it's not because every beginner produces something that's not a cylindrical shape with straight walls. It's a totally random outcome at the beginning. And then when you know what you're doing, you actually produce a cylindrical shape with straight walls and then you shape it any way you want. You start and always with a cylinder with mm. straight shapes and you do whatever you want after oh, that right. when you know what you're doing. So when you have the shape? When you have the shape, you let it dry for a while or you can dry it immediately with a heat gun uh -huh. and you trim. Uh -huh. And the trim, the point of trimming is to make your wall absolutely identical everywhere. Bottom, uh -huh. walls, everything needs to be the same uh -huh. thickness. And once you trim, you decorate and that's the favorite and that's part. the favorite part for yeah depends they're that's all right. challenging and enjoyable in their own yeah. way so and when you paint it you can glaze it and you might leave it with no glazing is that what you're saying uh if you want your piece to be water resistant you have to glaze it oh, so right. if you want the various techniques of glazing and I don't pretend to know all of them but yeah. you can do under glaze which is 
pretty much if you have a decorating picture in mind or whatever you paint it with colors and the colors are what you see is what you get and then you put clear glaze on top mm. with glazes is what you see is not what you get you may see a blue glaze and it turns out to be purple or whatever so there is a bit of surprise there you think you know what you're going to get and when you take it out of the kiln it could be totally different mm. so that's nice as well how long it takes uh, for one piece to get produced like for you like when you go to classes you go and do one piece let's say a bowl the teacher does one piece in three minutes oh really <laughs> the idiots like us do one piece in an hour so no maybe it takes 10 minutes for me oh, now right. to produce it that's very good just but to throw it just Throwing to throw is it the first part, yeah. but and then you leave it and trimming i take my time with trimming because yeah, yeah. it's more so precise it's more precise you need to remember what your inside shape is to make the outside mm. shape so sometimes you need to take it off check it out center it again so that's yeah. probably the most and then glazing is the most time consuming part depends how elaborate you want to be could so be just it's brush 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 it could be so three to, hour process today we went to that uh uh what is it the exhibition of uh, pottery uh -huh. did you get a lot of inspirations yes somewhat you just can see that it was very interesting wasn't yeah, it i put some uh, after photos. six months of doing that you're not even scratching the surface <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard yeah and as with any art the most important thing is to have an original idea it's not so Absolutely, much the ability yeah. it's to have an idea exactly. and coming up with the idea is not easy at all like everything even making That's videos right. it's exactly. it's uh, it's important to have an yes, idea you have to have an original idea to hmm? have an original idea sorry you have to do 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 things and then you think oh my god why don't i do that and that could be original so you have to copy a lot before you come up with an original idea vanya's art now all represented so vanya's gonna tell us what is her favorite piece this is my favorite this is your favorite piece i don't know why it's just you just like it the most i just like this one i don't know why. for because me it's well shaped well trimmed yeah. And that was the first time I tried this technique, which is called single print. Uh -huh. Single print is because you make a print on a piece of paper and you put it on your bowl uh -huh. and you have, and supposedly it will go on the bowl. It's the exact same shape and colors. And you can make that print only once. That's why it's called single print, right? Because after that you piece of paper going goes in the bin it's beautiful so this is single print which is not exactly the most successful but i liked it because because it was the first attempt it's it very nice i like it myself too and yes. i also like this one this is a very nice piece of art actually tempted single print, oh is it which is one hot mess yes because mm -hmm. it did not actually work uh -huh. But, but it still I, looks very nice. I still like it because yeah. it's somewhat. They're all very something artistic. Something that you cannot repeat. They're very artistic and I for a very know, short time. Look at, at this. All, but <laughs> this of improvement. Week, something new comes into my head. Absolutely. And I reckon it's it. absolutely great improvement. And this is the Vanya's collection. One day, when Vanya opens her own business, you will be most welcome to come visit. Okay. Yeah, it may happen. Okay, thanks, Vanya. But for now, this is a good hobby. Very good hobby. Thanks, Vanya. <laughs>